Hey guys, GamerPlays here, and today we are doing part two of the Nancy Drew Remastered Secrets Can Kill. Alright, let's check out this locker. Nothing. Uh, I don't want to. Nothing. A tape, but nothing's in it, and. Breaking at Welco Pharmacy. Huh, nothing. Alright, well, that's a bust. Let's say on our checklist. Did that. Check. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Kanji. Posters. That's done. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Still have to do that. Okay, um... Let's go into the student lounge, because that's where... I don't know, Nancy, you is. can't go in there. Why But I have a key. Yeah, right. I've heard that one before. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> Yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. Hmm. I'll let you go. Uh. Adios. So... I'm guessing the soda is just on the bulletin board, so that's why I'm looking at the bulletin board right now. Huh. Oh, uh, okay, this is weird. Will help my plague? Plague? Uh, the first letters up, down, left to right. Up, down, left, right. Okay, that must be something. Up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Huh. Anything. Grape, grape, orange, cool. We'll play the alarm in the sc Oh, okay, okay. So. Uh. Let's play the alarm. Hey, it's up. Grape, grape, orange. Great, you broke it! Shut up, kid. Hey. I can't hear you with the alarm going on! Jesus, okay, that's like a jock. Smoke so much weed. What's over here? Oh. Oh, uh, it's a Brazilian language, but I don't know the password. That sucks. Hey, Nancy, need something? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. <sighs> I'll be right back. There we go. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. If that is you, you should tell me. You should, like, I don't know, change it or be mad. At her interactive, it's nothing. Um. Ooh, username. Okay, I was in that little safe. Always Drew. Always Elder. There we go. Oh, Jake Rogers is doing the bone war duty. Interesting. Oh, no, okay. I should probably get that code in the language.
Oh, how to This looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. What? Oh. So Jake might have, must have copied him or how plagiarized. Which I don't think would happen. Hello? You better stop your nosy nosing or it'll get bent way out of shape. Who's Mitch Dillon? Dick, all right. All right, uh, let's go to the LMC and get that code. I know, other way. Okay, no. N O T E. Okay. Let's go over here. And uh oh. T E. There we go. Let's go down. It's over here. Huh. Oh, I'm guessing we're going to use that for later in the game. Sixteen, nineteen sixty-seven. Cool. That's cool. It's like the boiler room. All right. What's on the agenda? That's done. Check. Still have to do that. Watch that letter. Did that. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. It's called Ned, because I'm guessing he's going to give me some hints. Hi, Nancy. Jesus. I'm not sure what to do with a secret message in the map drawer. Read every other word and then follow the directions. The answer is a number that Jake would have used several times a week. I feel like that's his locker. So 5253 is the answer? Bye, though? Ned. Ciao. Huh. Interesting. Let's look. Oh, wrong key. Okay. It is in the map section over here. Oh, that's correct. Alright, maps. Okay. So if Anything happens to me, Seer. So if anything happens to me, Seer. Huh. I don't understand. Haven't done that. Still have to do that. Check. I'm gonna talk to the students, because honestly, this guy has no life. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough oh. to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. 
Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you, you. You will gain nothing if you do. If he values human life, why is he in a library by himself reading books? I, don't, I just don't understand that. Okay, carry on. And it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular and a good politician, too. Just like his father. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Bye. See you later, Nancy. Nice way to just close that conversation. Bye. That's out of her. I know it's such that buff. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Um. Why did you break your date with Daryl to the Sadie Hawkins dance? <sighs> it's a long story. How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? Hmm. I gotta go now. Later. Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Well, you're a bitch, so sh shut up. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. See you later. Bye, Nancy. There you go. That's how you end the conversation. How's it going? Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Oh. Fan? Tanaka never missed a game. That is until he started hanging out with Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that mm. affect your chances of Let's playing see. college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. You're, I'm as strong as ever. You're so skinny, though. I don't understand. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. 
You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Ooh. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. Kanji, what does Kanji mean? Did that. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Maybe there's something I miss in the, in the library. Oh. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind a matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My message holds the remaining eighteen steps. The element solid order, letter and digit tell the direction. Okay. So it's like all Chinese. Um. Huh. Okay. There you guys have it. That is the end of part two on our journey to find the murder. Of Jake Rogers. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch part three. I'll see you guys later.